Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about nucleic acids. So let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. As with most of these uh, macromolecules that we've been talking about, uh, there's some general information that we need to talk about, and nucleic acid uh, has that uh, as well. Now, the polymer uh, would be a nucleic acid. Okay, that would be the full built molecule, dehydration synthesis, and all that stuff. Uh, so that's we're talking DNA, we're talking RNA, and the monomer would be the nucleotides, and we're talking those A, adenine, T, thymine. Uh, C, cytosine, and G, guanine, the individual nucleotides. Now, along with having those bases, which are the A, T, C, and G, the nucleotides, uh, there's a sugar, and there's a phosphate, and there's whatever the A, T, C, and G uh, that's been added onto that. And we'll see that when we look at both uh, DNA and RNA. We'll point those out, but you can see the diagram beside me there. Uh, you've got your nitrogen base in the upper right hand corner. You've got your sugar there in the middle. And then you've got your phosphate group, uh, which is a, a similar phosphate group as we saw in the phospholipid uh, to the far uh, left. Uh, one of the differences, and we're going to point this out specifically at the end of the RNA section, uh, is the sugars. For DNA, the sugar there in the middle is deoxyribose. Uh, that got that O-S-E suffix that points to it as a sugar. Deoxyribose for DNA. For RNA, it's ribose. Okay. And depending on what sugar determines if it's DNA or an RNA, everything else is, is the same. You've got your variations in your nitrogen bases. Uh, but it's the sugar that determines uh, if it's a if it's DNA or RNA. Now, when we're talking DNA, uh, we're talking some some pretty important stuff here because we're talking things you can find in the genes. Okay, these are the things that determine all those physical traits that you can that you can see or the way you do things hair color, nose size, ears, uh, whatever it may be. That, uh, that information is uh, coded for genes, uh, which is based on the amino acid sequence uh, uh, for, the, for, the, you know, for the proteins. And for DNA, the nucleotide, nucleotide nitrogen bases are A, T, C, and G. Okay. Uh, DNA is formed in a double helix, uh, as as we as I'm sure you know, and we'll see a look at the picture of that when we compare DNA to RNA at the end of the RNA video. Okay, now DNA has some base pair rules, and that refers to the nitrogen bases that are paired together, and this should be this should not be new information to you. But A pairs with T, and C pairs with G. And, and what that means is that along a, the two strands of a DNA molecule, that A and T will be there the same number of times, uh, and the same with C and G. So if you count them up and there were 6 million A's, then there should be 6 million T's that are matched with it. Uh, if there were 9 million C's, then there should be 9 million G's that are matched up with it. Excuse me. But looking at the diagram uh, beside me over there up against the edge, uh, you can see the phosphate. That's those little brownish circles on the very edges. Uh, and in the pink uh, geometric shapes, those are the sugars. So in essence, if you think of DNA, if you un, uh, unwind it and unfold it and lay it flat, and think of it as a ladder, okay, those sugar phosphate alternating uh, connections, those are going to be the side rails of a ladder. 
sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate. And then the rungs going across, that's going to be the nitrogen bases. Okay, that's going to be your A, T, C's, and G's that are going to be hydrogen bonded together. That's where you put your foot if you were climbing uh, this particular ladder. Oh, and mention this in the top here. So when we're talking those base pair rules, uh, we're talking, you know, what letters are, are matched together. So when those DNA molecules are being read, if the protein reads an A, then it puts a T on the complementary uh, DNA. If it reads a C, then it puts a G there. If it puts a G, if it reads a G, it puts a C on the complementary pair. And and that's how it looks on a on a gene. Well, that's our look at DNA. In our next video, we're going to look at RNA, and we'll also compare the two uh, to show the three main differences. So we'll see you then.